of visual literacy is really about slowing your students down and asking them to articulate why they are making the assumptions they are. What do they see that makes them say that? Um, we're, we're very quick to say, oh, that's a school. Well, why does it look like a school? What, is, what about it makes it look like a school? It's about looking closer and longer and further. Um, drawing is one way that you can do that. It's also important to ask questions um, that bring you to more questions and more ideas. And it's also important to get your kids to ask questions too. There was a handout over there called 50 Ways to Look at a Big Mac Box. These are good questions to use about anything. You can use them about a Coke bottle. You can use them about, about a building. And you can use this as a reference. I'm going to give each group two pictures of buildings you may not be familiar with. Okay? You can either work on them together. You can pick one to work on as a group, or you can split up into two smaller groups. I would like you to use those questions and look really closely at the details to see if you can figure out more information about this building. Okay? Does that make sense to everybody? Yeah? Okay. That's so, the entrance. Are these windows? Ah, they could be. Letting or some light or ventilation. Oh, yeah. So, so like describe the shape. Like yeah, it's a planetarium like, or an arena. I was thinking like a rec, like I a it was rec center. center. Yeah. 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 We said that we noticed the landscapes in this one. Right. We noticed um, the intentional barriers. Okay. Um, Parky, park area, kind of, you know, it's, it's set up to where you can enjoy the view of the building and set up to where you may want to just go and just take a walk. Yeah, and they have it. like trees and there's shade and it's like sunny, right. you can do a picnic underneath. Right. And I think that's juxtaposed with symmetrical, almost mm -hmm. like prism to me. Like straight, structure. The straight lines. It's, it's really straight, like the windows are, are tiny and narrow and dark. So we're gonna go. I, we're gonna go around, and like I'd like everybody, each group, to tell a little bit about what they think um, about these buildings. What did you? What do you think about this one? Uh, okay. Um, the design is different, and uh, when you looked inside of it, it looks kind of like the the chandelier type crystal things hanging down. Uh, the the top looks very uh, translucent, lucent, and we were kind of thinking if it's like a memorial type thing. There's a variety of materials because like the bottom level. It's like these pillars, but glass in the front and in the back, and then there's this marble layer, and then we can't really tell what exactly materials are at the top, but it's like this mesh, it looks like a metal sort of mesh, glittery something. Okay. And when you look up through the center of the building, you can see it, it kind of flows a little bit, almost like it's open, so like there's like offices or some right. functioning room up top. Okay, yeah, absolutely. So this is um, one proposed design for the National Museum of African American Culture and Heritage. You guys were absolutely on target when you were thinking about what the different parts mean. So the design was supposed to look like a crown, um, this idea of a crown. It was supposed to look, look like it glows. I mean, you guys were able to get a lot of information out of this um, just by looking at it. See what the people Can are you see wearing. see what the people are yeah, wearing or doing.